you can now display text to the screen. It is also a good idea to get data in from the user. Fortunately, C makes that just as easy as output. In fact, it is done in a similar manner. Just as output is handled with a count command, input is handled with a send command. There are really only two differences. The first difference is that the arrows point into the program. That's logical, isn't it? The second difference is that the arrows must point to some variable. This makes sense if you think about it. If you are going to take input from the keyboard, you have to put it somewhere. There are a number of items in this program that you should be aware of. The first is the use of the send command. After declaring integer variables to hold the input, it is also necessary to use the command send number 1. That expression literally takes the input from the keyboard and places it into the variable number 1. In this code you see the same thing done with the variable number 2. Also notice that when you take in input you don't need to do anything to tell the compiler what kind of variable you want to put the data in. The send command can see what kind of variable is to the right of the sign, and will convert the data to the proper type, if possible. Obviously if you try to put a into an int, you will have a problem. Watch count. Make sure that the variable you use for input matches the type of data you ask the user to enter. Do not ask for a decimal value then try and put that into an integer variable. The next item that you should direct your attention to is the use of compound count statements. You can output just about as much as you like with the count command, in a single statement. All you must do is to separate the items you wish to output with characters. Using this technique, you will be able to combine variables and text to form the output to the screen that displayed the answers. This is an important technique to remember. You will see it used many times in this book. These simple examples demonstrate the basics of C input and output. With just these simple techniques you can handle input from the keyboard as well as output to the monitor screen.